Okay, so then we get our uh, dust gun and we get the pistol. And then these these are extra guns. And the silent shotgun and the sawn off. Ah, why not? I mean, we'll, we'll show these off because this is this is the Fortunes edition, like DLC or whatever. Then you get that that crate. You get this this thing. I think it's a uh, explosive, right? Yep. Well, okay, that doesn't prove it because that does now. Yeah. So it's an explosive crossbow now. Wow. And this is a a silent shotgun. It's rather weird. Is that how that sounds? Oh, and this is a sawn off shotgun. Hmm. Oh, yes, please. Oh, that's the only way to do it. Hmm. Speak of the devil. Isn't it this guy? He's the youngest, right? Oh, and this this is the one. I'm very glad you made it here safely. This is your first and based buddy. <laughs> this buddy will contact you during missions and offer alternate ways to complete missions. As you reward, you'll increase your reputation and upgrade your safe house. I wasn't sure I would see you again. Last time I saw you, you were very sick. Please, let me introduce myself. My name is Garbani Singh. You see that man right there? What is your name? He can get malaria pills, and that is what you need. Oh, that man. I have not forgotten how much you helped me before. I am at your service, always. You are a good soldier, not like the men who are fighting this war. They'll be gone soon enough. These men and their wars are tearing this country apart. Be well, okay. my friend. Oh, you people never stop. Here's the bloody tape, all right? That's it. That's all I've got. Well, aren't you going to destroy it? That's what your friends usually do. Wait, you're not here for the tapes, are you? Oh, I see no. a problem now. You can get the pills you need from the church in Pala. The priest there will help you, assuming you make it in time. Just passes along for me. You can't break a man the way you break a dog or a horse. The harder you beat a man, the top. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll replay that for you. You can't break a man the way you break a dog or a horse. The harder you beat a man, the taller he stands. To break a man's will, to break his spirit, you have to break his mind. Men have this idea that we can fight with dignity, that there's a proper way to kill someone. It's absurd. It's anesthetic. We needed to endure the bloody horror of murder. You must destroy that idea. Show him what a messy, terrible thing it is to kill a man. And then show him that you relish in it. Shoot the wound, then execute the wounded. Burn them. Take them in close combat. Destroy the preconceptions of what a man is, and you become their personal monster. Sure. When they fear you, you become stronger. You become better. But let's never forget, it's a display. It's a posture, like a lion's roar or a gorilla thumping at his chest. If you lose yourself in the display, See, if you I'm succumb to the there. horror, then the you right become now. the monster. What you you become reduced. New, Not more than a man, clothes, but less. And, and it can be you fatal. You chance talking to me. I'm persona non grata around here. The warlords want me out of the country. They don't like the story I'm writing. It's about the war. And about them, of course. But mostly it's about the famous arms dealer, the Jaka. That was him on the tape. Do you know I have covered 16 wars across Africa? 16. And every time sure. he's been there, selling his weapons and making a fortune while millions of people suffer and die. He thinks he can continue to do his work in secret, but not this time. These stories, they are going to come out. The Jackers, the warlords, the soldiers, the boy soldiers, even the NGOs. I intend to expose the whole sordid mess. I make it sound very dramatic. We'll see if anybody back home even notices. I've been interviewing people for months now. Diplomats, warlords, civilians, whoever I could trick into talking to me. I had some fantastic material. Then the soldiers confiscated my tapes. They said they destroyed them. But maybe not. I don't know. I can't very well go looking for them. I'm no good with a gun, you see. And you need one these days just across the street. You've seen the fighting. The war is getting worse by the minute. It's absurd. Because why are they fighting? For what? You can see the country is destroyed. The people, the diamonds, the cities. What about the ridges on with the Jackass weapons, no less? It is going to end badly. And I'm afraid I'll be here to see it. I'm a bit of a robber neck, I suppose. 
Listen, if you find any more of my tapes, please bring them back. Oh, so they are his about. tapes. I need them for my story. I forgot. I'll tell yeah. you right now, I can't pay you. I can only offer you my worthless friendship in return. Okay. Oh, I should talk to both of my buddies because he's also my buddy. Let's talk a minute. Why? This is your second best buddy. This buddy he will be here at the safe house you unlocked. You might get size missions from your bat for your buddy. And if you're down in battle you can count on this buddy to rescue you. Oh wait a minute, you're the new guy. Badass. Name's Warren. Hey, you ever need any help out there, give me a call. I'm serious. I'm the guy you want when the ship goes down. Alright, so Warren is the guy. Um but I don't entirely I'm not really sure how it works because they sometimes help you, I think once, and then they don't help you again. Until you either go talk to them, tag them, or something them. I don't know. Alright, I think the game is officially on now. Yep, the game is on. There we go, alright. Let's get started. 